beautiful day here in California. So I'm back with another YouTube video. Um, it's really unscripted. Um, I get a lot of people that ask me a lot of questions about the video I posted about Yellowstone. And I'm gonna make this video, um, I might be going back this summer, just to let you guys know, uh, cause I really did enjoy my first time and it might be my last time. So I would love to meet some of you guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might, I'm probably gonna be going back this summer. But I wanna answer some questions for you guys. Uh, I'm literally just, you guys see the palm lift out here, I'm just chilling for like an hour or two. Uh, nobody's really here. But yeah, I'm just chilling. I was like, why not record this video for you guys? Uh, of just questions that I have gotten underneath my YouTube videos. And just to help you guys, cause I wish before I went, just to make everything smooth for me. You know, I can just go into Yellowstone, you know, I apply and I'm like, okay, I'm going in. I have a lot of my questions answered. I would still go regardless. Cause I, I went with like, you know what I'm saying? I, all I knew was that I was gonna be working in Yellowstone. I didn't know which part of Yellowstone. I just went in like, you know what I'm saying? Um, with an open mind, which I think that you should too. But I'm gonna be answering some questions for you guys. So number one, questions that I got in Yellowstone was, um, as far as pickup, where do you pick, where do they pick you up? So in my experience, which I think uh, the last couple of years has been like this, um, Bozeman, Montana. So you fly in from there. Uh, people take buses there, and I'm gonna also get into the bus situation, um, the Greyhound bus situation. I say Greyhound because it's like a third party, but Greyhound is partnered up with them. So I arrived from the airport in Bozeman, Montana. Um, the airport itself, you need to Uber to uh, the Walmart. You know, I tried walking it, but it was cold when I did it in October because uh, I had to go uh, give, give back my rental car that I had um, once I left Yellowstone. But that's another story. But yeah, so you take the Uber from um, the airport to uh, the Walmart in Bozeman, Montana, which is like not even no more than like a mile and a half. It's not that far. Probably about a mile and a half or so. And um, there is a hostel in Bozeman, Montana. So if you guys want to stay there, it's th when I stayed there, it was 30 bucks a night, which is not that bad. I mean, when I went to South America, it was like $5, $7 a night for a hostel. So it's America, so you know. But that's that's really good because the uh, Holiday Inn was about roughly $7 a night. So you get that already cut in half. And I always meet wonderful people when I stay in the hostel. Like I met great people when I stay in the hostel. I never had any problems. You know, good vibes, you know, there's a shower, all that stuff. Good, man. Uh, also, the Walmart's there. So, I stayed there for a couple of days. I would recommend if you're coming from a lower elevation, you know, uh, place. Like, I'm from Florida. Uh, get there a couple of days before so that you can get used to the elevation. Uh, I'll tell you guys this firsthand. I, I hiked for the first time while I was there in Bozeman. And I was literally out of breath. Like, I came in there in shape. I'm like, okay, I play basketball. I'm good. And I'm Floridian. I'm good. Guys, I got there, man. I was literally out of breath, and I'm just like, I drank so much water. Man, I drank so much water. I'm talking about like two gallons within like a day and a half. Like, because uh, in Florida, you can kind of get away with drinking like, you know, this much water in like, a, like two days. At least I could. Um, but somebody's driving right there. I had to make sure, you know, I ain't, I ain't trying to get caught. But yeah, um, literally, uh, I can get away with just drinking water. But I had to drink like a lot of water and my skin was, it got really dry. So I had to get some baby oil. I personally use baby oil. I don't lose, I don't use lotion. Uh, it's just, I don't like using lotion. I use baby oil. I've been using that the last couple of years. So I use that. So let me get back on topic, right? So yeah, the hostel in Bozeman, Montana, 30 dollars a night. I recommend if you come from a lower elevation place, get there earlier. I believe Bozeman is around 5,000 feet above sea level, which is pretty good. You know, get your, you know, I recommend go hiking. The hostel also, um, they have a bike that you can use for free if you just stay there. And uh, nobody used it, so I was just bike riding around Bozeman. It was amazing. So I would highly recommend get there the couple days before. My bus came that I got there May 15th. Uh, no, I left Bozeman May 15th last year, 2019. But I got there May 10th to get used to the elevation. And my plane ticket was really cheap. I, I went through Frontier. You know, very cheap airline. I got there within less than like $200 from Florida. So, you know, actually, I think I got there for $110 because it was a one way. So it was even better, right? So, um, got there. Yellowstone bus picks you up from the actual, um, you know, bus stop. 
Uh, no, actually from Walmart, right? Either Walmart or literally there's a Holiday Inn right next to Walmart, literally less than a football field right next to the uh, Walmart. And they'll either pick you up uh, at the Walmart, on the side of Walmart, where there's a Greyhound station, which is not really a Greyhound station. It's just basically a third party that sits outside with a van, and then you buy tickets from them at a certain time, and they're not always there. So it was cool. You either um, go there, um, side of Walmart. I would highly recommend just side of Walmart because people just sit there um, and they wait. It's like a waiting area pretty much where buses pull up. So that's what I would do. Um, another question that I got was um, as far as uh, roommates, right? When you get to Yellowstone, do you get to pick your roommates? In my experience, uh, no. Uh, especially if you get there in May, uh, June, July, peak times where like the dorms are full pretty much. Uh, a lot of people you know, met somebody that was companionable, you know, they met girlfriends and, you know, I got some friends that have boyfriends or whatever, you know, uh, if there's a room that's open and somebody gets fired or they move to a different dorm and that room is open, which happens something, if you got lucky, it happened, right? You can be like, hey, you know, you talk to your person that's uh, the head of uh, housing. I forgot what they're called, but they're, they pretty much, uh, you know, they, they work there. I forgot what they're called. Uh, the housing manager, I would call it. Um, you can just talk to them and you can move in with your girlfriend. Like, literally, like, here, I can't really do that. Like, there's a girl's room and there's a boy's room, you know. But, uh, yeah, a lot of my friends, man, they met somebody from different country. That was pretty cool when they became girlfriend and boyfriend, you know. There's a lot of stuff that goes on, you know what I'm saying. So, that was pretty cool, you know. So, but you got to really talk to, be really cool with your housing manager and just be aware of, like, okay, this person may be leaving in August, you know, to go back to college. So, then you can have their room. Like, people got really creative with it. Um, also what I would say is, um, uh, another question that I got was, uh, the food, you know what I'm saying? The food, in my experience, the food was decent. Uh, it wasn't nothing too crazy. Um, the, the food and housing got deducted out of your paycheck, you know? So, uh, in my experience, it's about like maybe 240 or, uh, I'll say something, I'm 220 to 250 every two weeks. And that happened, you know, automatically, you know, before, you even get your paycheck. It, it came out of your paycheck, you know. Uh, so depending on how much money you're getting paid, you'd be like, man, I'm spending $500 a month and you're making a certain amount of money. Um, so again, I can only speak in my experience. Everybody's different. Uh, I got tips. Uh, I was a porter in the Old Faithful Inn. But I didn't even know where I was going to be working at when I first got there. I didn't know if it was going to be, um, you know, the Old Faithful Inn or if it was going to be... Uh, lake or man i didn't know nothing about yellowstone when i went but i will say this guys um i had a great experience and my next point the next question i got was as far as activities right um this is why i also love yellowstone man um every school that train is going that train is making a lot of noise but yeah uh activities right they had just about hiking events every single week uh where they would take you in their bus or well, not a bus but like in like a van that carries about 15 to I say about 15 people to uh, different hiking trails around Yellowstone. That, this is amazing. Now, you did have to pay, but these things were so cheap. I'm talking about like $5 to participate in these. And they filled up, and since it was so cheap, they filled up really fast. So it was like $5, $7, you know, $8. And it filled up pretty fast. So you had to really sign up. And it was really cool to um, go hiking with new people and different people from different countries. And the main reason why I will most likely be going back this summer is due to the fact that, uh, you know, different cultures. I love meeting people from different cultures. My Europeans, my Latin, uh, people from Latin America, my people from different Asian countries. I had a blast with them. And um, that's another thing. Another question that I got is, uh, people ask about pay, right? Uh, I can only speak in my experience, everybody's different. But uh, I think when I worked there, it was like about, uh, Roughly, oof, I think housekeepers got paid about nine dollars. Um, but if you were at the porter, you got paid like about ten dollars or a dollar more than the housekeepers. Uh, I think it was ten twenty five, something like that. And um, you know, it was like you work forty days a week, but I never got affected by you know less hours. As far as um, I give you guys an example, right? So when it was when it was peak time, most of the housekeepers. Uh, they used to work like 40 hours a week, but when it was peak time, they went from working 40 hours a week to maybe working like uh, 28 or somewhere around 30, maybe 28 or 24. Um, 
they went to working like maybe four days a week because we had so many housekeepers and literally nobody wanted to be a porter even though I paid a dollar more and I know you had, I know you had to clean restrooms and all that but in my experience I thought it was better you know although people are nasty and it's the restrooms uh you know my schedule was just cool and you even got tips I think in my opinion more tips than housekeepers keep it real with y'all um because I would go to the rooms and you know what I'm saying um get them extra toilet paper or simple stuff you know, and I liked it better because I could interact with the actual, you know, guests that were actually staying in the Old Faithful Inn. Housekeepers just had to clean the rooms. And um, if you love cleaning and if you love to be independent and all that stuff. And I just, I don't even like folding my own bed. I just don't like folding beds, keep it real with y'all. I had to clean up and just move around a lot. Like, I moved around a lot. Like, I had to carry some stuff. I would personally love to do that. You know what I'm saying? Is this my dream job? No. Uh, I did it, like I said, for experience. And uh, I was like the lead porter or whatever. So that was pretty cool. But, um, you know what I'm saying? That was just my experience. And is it crazy amount of tips? No, but people would hand me every once in a while $20, you know, $10. But most of the time it was like $5. And that added up pretty fast. Like probably that whole season I probably made like maybe an extra $300, $400 just in tips. And that was just me being smart with it. And I used that extra money. You know what I'm saying? To buy me, you know, um, extra snacks, something like that at the general store. So you guys can really get uh, creative with it and just be smart with your money. And uh, a lot of people did, uh, you know what I'm saying, buy, you know, alcohol and all that stuff and have their little bitty parties in the dorm. I'm trying to think of some other questions. Now, now this is, you know, off the dome. I just turned my phone on because I got a lot of questions that people put underneath the videos. Um, another question I would say is, um uh, maybe community now uh, or which dorm is the best so i did get this question which dorm is the best and i had wrote to somebody but i might just say it to explain more so like i said uh, i was in the 21 and under dorm uh but that dorm was just the community on the scale from one to ten community i'll give it like an eight or nine out of ten uh, because there were just so many people in the lobby and it doesn't matter what time you go in obviously if it's like past midnight it's less people. But uh, for the most part, there was a time where when I first got there, there was people from, um, you know, Thailand that I would just connect with. And we were just talking it up, you know. And then uh, when they left, it was people from, like, the crew, which is like a Christian organization that came in. It was about at least 30 of them. And um, they also have events, right, uh, whether you're Christian or not, um, where people just came and then they would just tell their stories. And they would have s'mores and it was, and also with that Christian organization, they also did events where they would also go hiking. And during the 4th of July, Independence Day, that was really cool. All of us went to West Yellowstone. It was cool, man. And we, we, you're going to have a good time. Like, don't stress out. If you have a plot to Yellowstone and you're worried about being away from home, it's a great experience. You know, I would at least once or twice a week uh, walk to a, a waterfall and just kind of fall asleep, not all the way. Cause it was just so peaceful and there's a uh i took a hike called biscuit basin or guys or something like that that uh if you walk from old faithful to that it was about maybe 10 15 minute walk depending on how fast you walk but i had bought a bike right uh they were selling bikes i bought my bike for about 90 dollars it was a really good bike a really 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 good bike so that's what i did i did a lot of bike riding in some time i actually bought a bike and you can actually buy a bike there like if they're selling bikes for like hundred dollars, hundred twenty dollars. It's a great investment. That's what I would highly recommend. If you have the money and you want to spend hundred twenty dollars, some people may call it crazy. I call it being smart because you're in the mountains and you're riding a bike and you're going up and down. It's a, it's a wonderful leg workout. Um, I will also say, man, play some basketball. They have basketball, you know, tournaments, three on three, four on four tournaments. Um, they had tennis. Uh, no, not tennis. I think it was badminton. Uh. Um, they had some other things, ping pong, different events. Uh, I feel like there's some other questions. So if you guys have any other questions about working on Yellowstone, please leave it down below. Uh, I will try and get back to them. I feel like I'm missing out on another question. But I mean, I think I hit pretty much the main points about Yellowstone. Maybe some things to bring, I would just say. Um, if you can, get some bear spray. Um, if you have a problem with skin irritation, get you some sunscreen. Get you a big water bottle. This is from Walmart. Get you a water bottle that's like pretty big because you will. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. You will be drinking a lot of water. I wasn't used to drinking that much water ever before in my life. 
uh, coming from Florida. I mean, obviously I work out, but like, I had like this is probably the most amount of water I've ever had to drink before in my life. A gallon of water, a gallon and a half, uh, since I work out a day. And plus, I'm now I'm working out like five days a week, and I'm still living in the mountains. I live in California, so it's about like now I'm at like seven thousand feet above sea, sea level, roughly the same as Yellowstone. Um, so I, I mean, I guess I can explain a little bit more after they pick you up from um, the Walmart. So you, you're going to eventually go to this uh, little headquarters. Um, it's in um, Gardner, right? This Google Gardner, uh, Montana, right? They have the yellow. They have the Zentera headquarters, right? And once you get there, you get your name tag, your uniform, your badge, all right. And there were some people, man. They had some nervous faces. I ain't even gonna lie. People were scared. They're a little bit nervous because it's like, wow, like I'm gonna be working in Yellowstone, you know. Uh, so after you leave there, um, we go to uh, Mammoth, which is like the first spot, right? So elevation rises a little bit. Maybe you're a little bit over 6,000 uh, feet above sea level. You was at a little over 5,000 uh, in, in Bozeman. So now you're going up in elevation. Your ears are popping and all that. Uh, when I went, I saw bison. It was cool. The elk, I didn't really see that many elk. So you're going to get to Mammoth, right? And this is where you're going to eat. In my experience, when I went to Mammoth, the food wasn't that good. I ain't even going to lie. But I was last year. They made a change. I don't know. Uh, so I'm like, okay, is this how the food's gonna be for the next couple of months? Ugh, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. But once I got to, to uh, Old Faith, it got better. So if you're gonna be working at Mammoth, they're gonna drop you off there. And um, that's it, you know, I won't see you for the rest of the season unless I go there for the basketball finals for the tournament. You know what I'm saying? If I win the basketball three on three, you know, the tennis or volleyball tournament or whatever, then you go to Mammoth for the, the big tournament because they have a pretty good, they have that, I think they have the best gym. Oh, Mammoth. Um, after that, um, I went to Old Faithful and then they dropped me off. And, you know, that was pretty much it um, as far as my, my bus ride. But if you're going to work in Lake, um, they'll drop you off there at Lake and Canyon and they'll make up a loop around. So that was pretty much it for me. Um, that was just uh, my stop was Old Faithful. And then they asked me, they gave me two choices for dorms. It was my my dorm, Laurel, or it was the other 21 in under dorm, which was, uh, bit, uh, I think it was Columbine, right? I chose Laurel because it was closer to the EDR. And that's also another thing, man. If you don't really like waking up and, you know, walking a long way to go to the EDR, there's two EDRs. I would just recommend Laurel if you're 21 and under. But there was also people that were older than 21 that still lived there. I had my friend. Uh, she was 24. Um, and she moved, you know, from another dorm to Laurel because of the community. And so people do move to, you know, at least in my experience and in my season to Laurel because of the community. So hopefully I answer you, you guys' questions, man. I tried my best in this video and apparently my lens fell out. That's great. And it's sunny out today. It's okay, man. At least I got one ear, one eye protected. But it's okay, man. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave more questions down below if you guys want. I want to make you. I want to make you guys experience as stressless as possible, so that you guys go there and uh, enjoy, man. You know, enjoy living in Yellowstone, working in Yellowstone, enjoy having a good time. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.